Hello, it's April and welcome to my toy world. Today we're going to be making a diorama for garden insects. We'll also be looking at the life cycle of four different insects that can be found in the garden. Ants, ladybugs, praying mantises, and butterflies. But before we look at these insects' life cycles, let's go ahead and add more plants and insects to our diorama. We'll add some flowers. Insects love flowers in the garden. And we'll add some grasses. And some plants. Next, we'll put some insects into our garden. Here is a beautiful red butterfly. So we'll fly up to the tree. And here we have a blue butterfly. This will fly into the yellow tree. We have a dragonfly. It'll fly over by our little pond. It's landed right next to the pond. We have a little caterpillar. He'll be walking along the grass with our grasshopper. We have a little grasshopper here who's hopping along the grass. Here we have a ladybug for our garden. We'll have this walking along right here in the front. We have a couple amphibians, little frogs here for our pond. We'll put them on the edge of our pond. And lastly, we have this interesting bug here, a centipede. Look at all the legs on this insect. It'll be crawling back here. So now our garden diorama is done and ready for more insects. We'll take a look at the life cycles of four different insects. We'll start by laying out four trays here. So that we have a spot to look at each stage of the insect's life. Let's go ahead and start with the butterfly. Here is the life cycle of a butterfly. It starts out as eggs on a leaf. Here they are, eggs on a leaf, with some hatched little caterpillars here eating the leaf. So we'll put that here in our first tray, and then after that it hatches into a caterpillar. Here is a caterpillar. This is a very colorful caterpillar here. So that's the second stage of a butterfly. Next, the caterpillar forms a chrysalis. This one is attached to a branch here. A chrysalis. Put that right here. And then when the chrysalis hatches, it hatches out the butterfly. So here is our beautiful butterfly. So the butterfly life cycle starts out with eggs, then a caterpillar, then a chrysalis, then a butterfly. So now we'll add our different parts of a butterfly into our diorama. We'll put the butterfly next to the beautiful orange flowers in the back. We'll put the chrysalis, I think we'll put the chrysalis up in the tree here. And the caterpillar will be walking along the grass and the leaves with the eggs on it, we'll put down here by this plant right here. So that was a life cycle of a butterfly. Let's go ahead next and look at the life cycle of a praying mantis. Praying mantises start out life as an egg. Here is a praying mantis egg. Praying mantises live in my garden as well, and oftentimes I will find these attached to fence posts or the side of my house, and when it's ready, they hatch. So that is a praying mantis egg. Many, many praying mantises come out of the egg. Next, here we have the egg hatching. You can see the little tiny bugs hatching from the egg. And then here is a young praying mantis, a larva. They actually start out very, very small and then they grow pretty quickly. Here is a younger praying mantis. And then lastly, it grows up into a full-size praying mantis here. Praying mantises are such interesting animals and very helpful out in the garden. Look at how they fold up their front legs. A praying mantis. 
So that is our life cycle of the praying mantis, the egg, the hatchling, the larva, and then the adult. Let's go ahead now and put our praying mantis life cycle in our garden habitat. We'll put the egg along the trunk of this tree back here. We'll put this hatching egg near the grass right here. And we'll put the younger larva of the praying mantis right here. And then the full size praying mantis we'll put back here by this flower right here, the pink flower. So that was the life cycle of a praying mantis. Next, we'll look at the life cycle of an ant. This is the life cycle of an ant. They start out as eggs. Ant eggs, like this. Next, they hatch into larva. Here is ant larva. Then we have a pupa. Here it is. You can see it growing into an ant inside the pupa here. The pupa stage of the ant. And then lastly, we have the ant. Here is our ant. So that is the life cycle of an ant. Eggs larva, pupa, and an ant. Eggs, larva, pupa, and an ant. We'll go ahead and put our ant life cycle in our diorama. I think we'll put the eggs back here by the purple flower. And we'll put these larva right down here. And the pupa we'll put over by the yellow tree's trunk and the ant will have him walking along our garden. So that was the life cycle of the ant. And lastly, we have the life cycle of a ladybug. You can often find ladybugs out in the garden. Ladybugs start in an egg. Here you see a group of ladybug eggs on this leaf here. That looks really interesting. A lot of times you can find different insects eggs on leaves out in the garden if you look very carefully. So these are ladybug eggs. Next we have the larva. Here is a ladybug larva. If you ever buy a bag of ladybugs for your garden, which you can buy at many garden centers, a lot of them will still be in this form here, little ladybug larva. They look like an interesting beetle, but these turn into cute little ladybugs. Here is the ladybug's pupa stage. That is very interesting. It's on a leaf as well. And then it becomes a ladybug. Cute little ladybug with a red back and black spots. A ladybug. And that is the life cycle of a ladybug. Let's go ahead and add our ladybug life cycle to our diorama. We'll put the eggs here on the leaf. We'll have the larva crawling right here. We'll put the pupa of the ladybug back here. And the ladybug we'll put right in the center of our diorama. And that is the life cycle of a ladybug. So that was our garden diorama today. We saw the life cycle of butterflies, praying mantises, ants, and ladybugs. Let's go ahead now and take a close up look at our garden diorama.
that was our garden insect diorama with insect life cycles. I hope you enjoyed learning about all of these different insects today in our garden diorama. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Goodbye.